Welcome back to my channel. Today I bring information on life in Canada, what to expect, what to pack, and the best ways to make the move. Moving to Canada can be an exciting and life-changing experience. However, it's essential to be prepared and know what to expect. Here's a comprehensive guide to help you understand life in Canada, what to pack, and the best ways to make the move. What to expect in Canada. Cultural diversity. Canada is known for its cultural diversity. You'll encounter people from all around the world, which makes it a welcoming and inclusive society. Unless you move to Brampton or Surrey, then you will be home, it will be like the same village from Punjab. Same people, same traffic, same food but cleaner roads and way more expensive. Weather. Canada experiences four distinct seasons, with very cold winters and warm summers. Be prepared for snow in many parts of the country, especially during the winter months. Your winter jackets and boots from warm countries will not be enough for Canadian winter. But if you are moving from another cold country then you already know what type of gear you would need for the winter. Healthcare. Canada has a publicly funded healthcare system, which means that essential medical services are covered by the government. You'll need to apply for provincial healthcare insurance once you arrive. I have a video on things to do in first week in Canada, link somewhere up on the screen. You can click and watch. Education. Canada offers a high quality education system, from primary school to university. If you have children, researching schools in your chosen area is essential. Cost of living. The cost of living varies across Canada. With the current inflation, Canada is one of the most expensive countries in the world. Major cities like Toronto and Vancouver tend to be more expensive than smaller cities and towns. Housing costs can be a significant factor in your budget. Work opportunities. Canada has an average job market, with still many opportunities in various industries. But if you go to smaller cities, the chances to find a relevant job in your expertise will be higher. Be open to do smaller jobs initially while you settle. Ensure that you have the necessary work permits and qualifications to work in your chosen field. Be prepared to get extra certifications or diploma from Canadian universities in your field. And if you are in a specialized field, for example doctor, nurse or engineer etc. It may take years before you can have the credentials to work the same job here in Canada. Let us understand that Canada's economy is mostly based on immigration business. It brings over $40 billions every year. So, if you are in generic field and want to get into immigration related business you will do better. Immigrants will keep coming and will need houses to live, food to eat and need jobs to do. Okay, here are a few examples, you can purchase a house and rent a unit to a new immigrant or a student, or become a real estate agent and buy, sell homes to immigrants and make commission or be a professional in construction, you could also do fixer-upper, or you can become a mortgage agent or broker and make commission, become an immigration consultant or lawyer, best is to become property lawyer I have seen them making millions on house closings. All immigrants will buy homes at some point, right? Or open a specialized ethnic restaurant food or things that immigrants cannot find here in Canada or if you are a mechanic get a local certification. Network with your community. Open your shop AAND, grow your business or any other business idea that you may have which caters to the needs of immigrants. Because this is the only area which will continue to thrive because of the huge influx of immigrants in Canada. Outdoor activities. Canada's vast natural landscapes offer plenty of opportunities for outdoor activities such as hiking, skiing, and camping. What to pack? Warm clothing. Given Canada's cold winters, pack warm clothing, including a good winter coat, boots, hats, and gloves. Documents. Ensure you have all your important documents, including passports, visa, work permits, academic credentials, and any relevant medical records. Electronics. If you're bringing electronic devices, make sure they are compatible with Canada's electrical system, 120 volts. Prescription medications. If you have any prescription medications, bring an ample supply with you until you can find a local healthcare provider. Ample supply of not just the prescriptions, but for regular ailments that you get all year round. Medicine is very expensive here and is not covered by government insurance. Currency. 
Bring some Canadian dollars or arrange for access to local banking services. Please refer to my video on things to do in first week in Canada. Adapters and converters. If your electronic devices have different plug types or voltage requirements, bring suitable adapters and converters. Making the move. Visa and work permits ensure you have the necessary visas and work permits to live and work in Canada. Apply for PR online. Most guides are online on CIC website. There is no need to find an agent. IIF you are interested in fast track immigration MI have another video on Atlantic Provincial Nominee Program. Link in the right corner on the screen please click and watch. You may need to apply for these in advance through the Canadian Embassy or Consulate in your home country. Housing. Secure housing before your arrival if possible. Finding a decent house within reasonable rent nowadays is very difficult. I prefer smaller cities over bigger cities. Research neighborhoods and rental options that suit your needs and budget. Healthcare. Enroll in the provincial healthcare system once you arrive to ensure access to medical services. Banking. Open a bank account in Canada to park your money you are bring with you, and also to manage your finances. I have a separate video on credit history, and how to build good credit history in Canada which will help you in the long run for all loans. Credits, Mortgages. Bring your identification and immigration documents for this process. Job search. If you don't have a job lined up, start your job search as soon as you arrive. Workopolis and Indeed are the major job sites you can begin with. Network, update your resume, and use online job boards and local employment agencies. Every city has GP Vernment funded agencies to help new immigrants. They offer free programs for settlement, even free language courses that you can avail. You should also register in your local library which you can use for free access to books, computer, printer, musical instruments etc. For printer, there is a nominal fees. 15 cents per page. Adaptation. Be patient and open-minded as you adapt to your new life in Canada. Join local social groups, meet new people, and explore the local culture. Legal requirements. Familiarize yourself with Canadian laws and regulations, such as taxes and driving requirements, to ensure compliance. Language. Canada is bilingual, with English and French as official languages. Depending on the province, knowledge of one or both languages may be beneficial. Moving to Canada requires careful planning and preparation. It's advisable to research and seek advice from Canadian authorities and expatriate communities to make your transition smoother. With the right preparations, you can enjoy a fulfilling life in this beautiful and diverse country. Thank you. Please subscribe and post your questions in the comment section.